A double girled Paralympian is taken to the catwalk this evening as part of the region's only student fashion awards. As well as celebrating up and coming talent, the Fashion Awards, held in Nottingham's Lace Market, are designed to promote diversity and empowerment. Mel Coles has been to find out more. So that's the back and this is the front. So put your hand through there. Backstage and final adjustments are being made to collections that have been designed and created by fashion students from across the East Midlands. It's taken me two weeks for the preparation and make everything together. 38 students are taking part in this year's East Midlands Student Fashion Awards, hoping to catch the eye of the lead judge, who just happens to be Patrick Grant from the BBC's Great British Sewing Bee programme. We're looking for originality, we're looking for a very good sense of, 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 of colour, a good sense of shape, silhouette. You know, we want to find young creatives who are modern, who have a great sense of history, but a great sense of looking forward. Moments to go, and the nerves are kicking in for someone who's more than used to taking centre stage. Gold Paralympian runner Richard Whitehead is about to make his catwalk debut, alongside BBC Weather's Lucy Martin. For me, there's the extra element of disability and making that be seen, which I think is really important. I think more visibility of people with disabilities is necessary for people to become more accepting, more aware of what's going on. So for me, it's really important. Yeah, it's probably more nervous than I've have been before. Uh, it's a great opportunity for me and uh, the people of East Midlands to see what, what talent is, there is on show. It shows that fashion is, is something that's accessible to anybody. Celebrating the unique is the ethos of the Fashion Awards and it's certainly done that in style tonight. Mel Coles, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottingham. And that's your news, so it's goodbye from me. But with your weather now, here's our own...